When there's graffiti on the wall, who are you going to call? It's a problem that plagues most Canadian cities, and the mayor of at least one of them is taking it very seriously. Mayor Rob Ford of Toronto detests graffiti, and not just because he's depicted in a lot of it. So he has joined the front lines and is deploying new weapons in the battle against unauthorized art. The story from CTV's John Venavalli Rao. In the back alleys of Toronto, you can see portrayals of the mayor that are hardly flattering. Images of Rob Ford, graffiti buster, becoming their own peculiar form of art. Some with language as colorful as the paint. I've been documenting street art for almost like 10, 15 years now. And, um, and certainly I've never seen anything like this with uh, just one mayor. Martin Rice was so taken with the works, he's photographed more than 100 examples of Rob Ford graffiti, which have popped up ever since Ford took office, vowing to crack down on vandals who use the city as their own personal canvas, with the mayor seen power washing and painting away their pieces. We're going to get the city spotless, mark my words. And the war graffiti has just begun. And Ford this week appearing in a back alley to put forward the city's latest weapon, a pair of smartphone apps, allowing residents to snap photos of illegal graffiti and flag its location to officials for cleanup. This is a whole city together to stop this, uh, I call it outright nonsense. Not all the works would be removed. Those done with the permission of the property owner would largely be left alone. But Ford has long made it clear he's not really a fan. There's one person that hates graffiti. It is me. This is, uh, it's graffiti vandalism and meaning that uh, it's called tagging. And while many support the idea of tackling stuff like this, some say the mayor's aggressive stance may be encouraging more of it. I think when you're adversarial to anybody, and no matter what the topic or the subject, it's going to make the people who aren't on your side a little more aggravated and against you. And Martin Rice is loving the backlash, documenting so many pieces he's planning to make his own smartphone app to show off the growing Ford collection. John Venavalli Rao, CTV News, Toronto. That's our newscast for this Sunday. Thanks for sharing your time with us this weekend. I'm Sandy Ronaldo. Lisa Laflamme will be here tomorrow. Have a good night and a good week ahead.